Hi, this is Computer Wizard, and today I will show you about extreme underclocking. That's right, underclocking. Okay, so you've seen many videos probably on overclocking, but there aren't much videos on underclocking. So I'll show you right now. So you, what you see right here is CPU-Z, and uh, using the AMD 64 Athlon dual core and you see the core speed is this 2400 megahertz or about 2400 and also on here so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down to 650 okay so I'm just going to close this and the first thing I do is I go to the NVIDIA control panel and I lower the clock speed for the bus so I have to do it slowly like this if I do it slowly, it lessens the chance of my computer, like, becoming unstable. So far, so good. There we go, okay. Now it's really slow now. You see that the CPU has dropped to 1560 megahertz. And um, the audio, like when I'm speaking, it might, it might degrade a lot because the CPU performance has decreased a lot. So now that it's slower, and hopefully you can hear me perfectly fine, I'm going to lower it even more by going to the power options under Windows 7 control panel. So I'm going to lower this to 0% and this to 0%. Now, normally I don't advise you doing this on your own computers if you can underclock, it, underclock this extremely. But this is just just an experiment, so don't don't try it too often. Though underclocking is good. It's at least at least it'll be you save energy and you say that it doesn't shorten as much as shorten the lifespan of your CPU as much as overclocking. Okay, so now I have zero. Now it's gonna be super slow. Okay, now it's pretty slow, and now I'm gonna open CPU Z. I notice how long it'll take to open up. Okay, so now. It's loading. All right. Well, anyway, uh, a couple of days ago, my graphics card died on me. It was a Nvidia GeForce 8800 GTS, and um, it died when I just turned on the computer randomly. It just randomly died on me. So I'm just expecting a new computer, and I'll be cu customizing it myself soon, and uh, maybe I'll make a video on it. So yeah. Okay, so now we have CPU Z open. Now take a look at the core core speed for the clock. See it? 650 point megahertz. It dropped even more. See this? This is after I lowered the bus speed. And this is 12 times. When I lowered this to 0%, it, it dropped from 12 
to 5. So now it's even slower. It slows the Pentium 3 computer. So, so, yep, that's pretty much all to it for um, extreme underclocking. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks.